This material is called the snake game. And what it does, it takes a colorful snake and exchanges it into a golden one. Um, this is the first operation that the child will be formally introduced to, which is called um, addition. And uh, the child will have known addition already throughout their life, because they're about four by the time they do this. Addition, they will see it in practical life, they will see it many times, uh, pouring, dry pouring, wet pouring, many other ways. At home, when they um, put soup on their plate, one a scoop full, not quite enough, second scoop full, yeah, nice meal for a, for a child. So they will know additions. To do this game, they need to know the numbers, they need to be able to count to 10, that's all. They only need to be able to count to 10, no more uh, necessary. And they will have done already the black and uh, the blue and red rods, as well as the red rods, uh, the sand, sandpaper numbers, combining the sandpaper numbers with the rods. Um, they will have done the box of one and the box of nine, of course, having a familiarity to the exchanging of um, beads. Uh, yeah, they will have done some um, some chains possibly already, maybe the chain of one, chain of two, chain of three. Uh, yeah, so yeah, let's let's do this. Right, I'll show you how to change a colorful snake to a golden snake. It's called addition. I will make a snake. My counter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Exchange. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Exchange. Look, we have a golden snake and even has a little colorful head on it. You may use this material anytime you like. The golden snake game. So this is the additions. Uh, once the child has done it a few times, if the child is interested, you can show them how to check um, if they've done everything correctly. The the point of this is not to get things done correctly. The point of this is to use the materials to um, understand that once, once you count it to 10, you will exchange uh, to one golden bead, so you can calculate very easy what the result is of an addition. But uh, the, the process is really what is important here for the child to do this. And if you get it wrong, you just do it again. There's no big hassle. Just wipe away one snake and put down another and do it again. So there's no sense of failure if things go wrong. And it's not necessary, it's not important to know if something went wrong. But sometimes the child children do want to know if they've done it right. So let's have a look if the colorful snake has had the same length than what we have here in the golden snake.
We exchange this into 2 times 2 because we need a 2. The addition snake did indeed work out. So from here the child can move on to um, subtraction snake, for example. Um, they can do further on, they can do additions in the bank game, big additions, which they might have done already, so it's kind of all at the same time. Uh, yeah, and they can just continue to move on in their knowledge of math. Um, so the chains, the long bead chains. Um, the dot game is another addition that makes this a little bit more abstract. So that's a good thing to move on to as well. 